Hey guys, what is going on? It is Wednesday. It is my day off today. I've had some days off of sips, but I've had things going on <laughs> literally for two weeks. Like, I haven't had a day where I don't have to do anything. Like, I refuse to do anything today. I showered, and I can't even believe I showered, but <laughs> I did need to shower, so. Um, and it was hair washing day, so that needed to be done. Um, yeah, yesterday, watching the kids, we had so much fun. We went on a new adventure. I took them to the zoo, and um, it was so much fun. And the, our zoo really set things up perfectly. They did a really good job of how to, like, order tickets. So when you go to the zoo, our zoo, which is the Seneca Park Zoo, um, you order your tickets online and then you pick a time slot. So kind of like if you've ever been to Disney and you do the fast passes, like you have to pick a time slot. It's kind of like that. And you have like an hour to get there within that time slot. So we picked 11 o'clock as our time slot and it was really easy. You walked in, they had a line for people that already had tickets that ordered online and then a different line for people that didn't have their tickets. Um, of course, if you didn't have your tickets, you had to wait until maybe somebody didn't show up or there's a spot open or the numbers were down enough, whatever. And then you walk in, there's automatically like a bunch of hand sanitizer stations. We, of course, brought our own hand sanitizer. Um, you have to wear face masks the whole time. And I was so proud of my niece and nephew, literally the whole time. The only time we took them off is we had lunch and so we took them off to eat lunch um and then like instead of like just wandering around the zoo they have a path so you follow the path um and it's like one way and it like kind of goes in this big circle and it goes out so there's no like people walking back and forth now the only thing i will say is um <sighs> kids are hard to control okay but some parents, I swear, are just clueless. Like, you can't have your kids, like, crowding my niece and nephew. Like, no. Like, the par parents need to learn to be, like, like, for instance, we, if there was a bunch of crowds, we kind of, we stood back just a little bit, like, waited our turn um, until it was kind of okay to clear. Like, why can't people just do that? It's common sense. Like, don't have your kid crowd my kid. Back off. Um, but yeah, we saw so many animals. We saw, um, a red panda, which was really cool. We saw, um, the elephants. And then when we got to the lions, there was a female lion. It was laying down next to the glass and Bubby went, hi, Bubby. Hi, buddy. I I'm sure the lion couldn't hear. I don't know, but the lion definitely put his paw, her paw up like this and just kind of looked at him. It was really cute. Um. And like I said, we had a really good lunch, and yeah, it was it was a really fun experience at the zoo. Um, I will be taking them back again because they did so well, and it's just fun. These kids get to learn about the animals and their habitats, and I'm I'm really trying to like when we go and do things, even when we're at the beach. There's there is a little mini lesson in there to enrich their minds, so that was cool. Um, also, not sure if I talked about this, but this past weekend, um, I went to a bachelorette party and we did a cooking class, which was a ton of fun. It was a cooking class and a wine tasting. And so I literally cooked these two recipes. One was a stuffed, excuse me, one was a stuffed French toast and the other one was potato pancakes. But I got to cook in this big, like, kitchen like you'd see on Food Network that I've never cooked in before. Um, I came away with a couple more tips, um, and yeah, that was fun. It was so fun, and, um, a great experience, and yeah, so, that's what happens, hap happens, happened, um, just trying to ca catch you guys up, because I know I haven't been vlogging, like, too much, because there's still so much backlog on here, and I've got so many unboxings to do that I'm like, just to save myself, I'm just gonna, you know, so 
Also, HelloFresh is coming today. If I can manage to clean the kitchen, I will show off what I got. But again, today's a lazy day. I literally, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm doing nothing. I was totally gonna do an unboxing, like film an unboxing, but my neighbor is outside vacuuming. What she's vacuuming? I have no idea. But it's been going on for like an hour. Does she not know I have a double unboxing of unplugged book box to do? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's quite annoying. It's a nice day outside. I have my sliding glass door open. I refuse to close it. Also, this is my nephew's kitty. He left Kitty in my car yesterday and I had to tell him that Kitty's having a sleepover at my house and I promised to tuck him in and he's like, okay, Edney, okay, get Kitty kiss for me. I was like, dude, I am not driving all the way back to your house, which is like 45 minutes away. I literally like pulled into the driveway and my brother's like, have you seen Kitty? We can't find Kitty. Well, he was in the back seat of my car, so... Here Kitty sits. Poor Kitty. He's definitely, he's, he's definitely seen some things, Kitty. <laughs> Alright, so I want to show you guys some of the stuff that, well, the meals that came today. Um, I really, I didn't go through everything yet. I just kind of stuck the brown bags in the refrigerator. But, um, this is what we're having tonight. I'm going to make this one tonight. So I had today off. This one takes the longest at 50 minutes. It's homestyle chicken and biscuit pot pie with carrots, celery, and fresh thyme. So I got to go through that. That's the first one. And then I got sun-dried tomato and basil spaghetti with almonds and parmesan. Of course, Don will be the only one that gets parmesan on it. This is a meatless meal, um, but I might add some... Uh, chicken to it. So there's that. And then last but not least, we have um, chicken stir fry tacos with tangy cabbage slaw, sriracha mayo, and crispy fried onions. This one is so easy that there's only four, <laughs> there's, there's four boxes of pictures on it. Like, that's it. So I'm going to kind of take everything apart for tonight's meal. Make sure it's all there. And, oh my god. Do you hear Oreo? Oreo's outside. So Oreo's outside. And literally, this is the chattiest I've ever heard him. He's probably not going to chat now, but... Hey, Oreo. Oreo! Oreo! Hi! You gonna talk? Say something. Yeah, do you hear him? It's literally the chattiest I've ever heard him. <laughs> He's been here all day. I'm sorry, am I telling your secrets? Meanwhile, this one's over here. Just being the queen. Just being the queen. Before we were rudely interrupted by cats, I just wanted to show you. So I go through everything here. This is all the ingredients list. I pull everything out of the bag, like so, and I make sure everything is here. So like carrots, celery, onion, clove, garlic, thyme, chicken strips, which is in the um, it's in the refrigerator, flour, chicken stock, cream cheese and buttermilk biscuits. So I make sure everything's here. Buttermilk biscuits, onion, celery, thyme, carrots, flour, chicken stock, garlic, and cream cheese. So 
Um, yeah, that's, that's just kind of how I do things. You know, just make sure everything is there. Thank you.